Hi, I'm Thomas. Welcome back. Our topic is complex numbers. We're continuing our lesson on solving equations with complex roots. This is example four. Our problem reads, solve z squared equals three minus four i. In the algorithm, we're not going to use steps one and two. We will solve for all roots. This requirement is essentially to find the square roots of a complex number. Our process to do that is as follows. z, the complex number, can be represented as x plus i y. So on the left side of the equation, we have x plus i y squared. On the right side of the equation, 3 minus 4 i. When we expand on the left side of the equation, we'll end up with x squared plus 2 times x y i i y times i y is i squared y squared. i squared is negative 1, thus negative y squared equals 3 minus 4 i. Now we're going to equate the real parts of each side of the equation and the imaginary parts of each side of the equation. x squared minus y squared equals 3 and 2xy equals negative 4. I'm leaving out the i because both sides of the equation have i, which would cancel, but do note that the left equation represents the real part of the complex number. The right equation represents the imaginary part. We now have two equations, two variables. We'll work through to solve for x and y using the process of simultaneous equations. Starting on the right, I'll divide both sides by 2y. We're left with x equals negative 2 over y. I'll now substitute this value in for x in the equation on the left. So we'll replace x squared minus y squared equals 3 with the value negative 2 over y. Negative 2 over y squared is 4 over y squared minus y squared equals 3. Multiplying across by y squared gives us 4 minus y to the power of 4 equals 3y squared. We now have a quartic that will end up in a quadratic-like form. Let's move all terms to one side of the equation with the highest order term positive, y to the power of 4 plus 3y squared minus 4 equals 0. We can factor into y squared and y squared. Negative 4 factors into 4 and 1. We want a positive 4 and a negative 1 to result in the middle term of 3y squared. It's important to note here, looking back at the first line of step 3, x plus i y is our representation of the complex number. i represents the imaginary number. The coefficient of i, y, is a real number. In the quadratic that we're solving, y squared plus 4 will not produce a real solution. So we will eliminate y squared plus 4 from consideration. We're only considering now y squared minus 1 equals 0 as an equation. So y squared equals positive 1, and y is either 1 or negative 1. Now working with the equation at the bottom left, x equals negative 2 over y. We'll substitute in first y equals 1 negative 2 over 1, and then y equals negative 1, negative 2 over negative 1. Our two solutions for x are negative 2 and positive 2. And to make clear the association, I'll write below the x's the corresponding y values. x equals negative 2 was a result of the input of y equals 1. x equals 2 was a result of the input of y equals negative 1. And what we're going to do with both of these using the format of the complex number x plus iy is arrive at our two solutions. x equals negative 2 
plus i y y is positive 1 so plus 1 times i or i and x equals 2 y equals negative 1 thus negative 1 times i or negative i these are the two square roots of 3 minus 4 i we've completed the requirements for example 4 and this concludes the lesson on solving equations with complex roots